Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about my Pelican Catch 120 NXT. I'm going to show you how I rigged it up for fishing in intercoastal waters. I'm going to give you a little insight and also a little review based on what I think of the kayak. I've owned the kayak for about two years now. This is a 2017. It's a 120 Catch NXT. It is 11 foot, 8 inches long, about 71 pounds. About 33 inches wide, 34 inches wide, give or take. Um, I'm just gonna get you started on what we got here. Okay, so we're gonna start from bow to stern. And the Pelican Catch, the 2017 model has a regular plastic handle. In 2018 and 2019, they came without, they came with more rigid handles than this. Um, here I created my own little paddle park. You know with some rope and some iPads just so I can slide my paddle there without having to set it up or put it up in a bungee or anything like that the front of the 120 NXT and also the 120 catch come with this large oval hatch quick lock which is very nice okay okay it does have a grommet on the inside so it is pretty watertight I don't really feel like any water gets in there um, does have a nice slip so if splashes anything everything comes down to the actual cockpit of the kayak very quick and easy to lock away and store you can store big dry bags uh, you can also store camping equipment I've, I've stored a six-person tent two sleeping bags in here with a dry bag as well with food when you get towards the cockpit area you're gonna have Scotty mounts all on the sides and on the front. I believe the Catch 120s doesn't come with the Scotty mount here in the middle. I believe it only comes with the ones on the sides. Um, I also got a Scotty rod holder. Now, the thing with the Scotty rod holder is I, I like the rod holder, but the thing I didn't like is it was too short. It only came with this base. So now me trying to reach that from the seating area that's a little difficult so what i did is i ended up getting the scotty extension arm and it allows me to raise it and actually have it closer in hand and it's pretty good you can swivel it you can turn it you can unscrew this and you can position your rod how you like same thing with uh same thing with the arm right here you can go ahead and unscrew that Okay, once you unscrew that, you can go ahead and adjust right here. You can also adjust at the bottom where you come down. You can actually position it to where it's really close to you or if it's more up high, if you're standing and fishing and stuff like that. So that's what I did with the fishing rod holder because it doesn't come with a front fishing rod holder or anything. I got two Yak Attack Roto Grips so I can store away my paddle just in case I need to get it out of the way, put it up here, and I want it stowed away without it flopping around or doing anything. Pelican Catch also comes with the stand assist strap. Now this is on the 2017 models. I know the previous models, they had it way up here, and I guess a lot of people were complaining about it and didn't like how it, they couldn't really reach it to stand up. But this is actually a lot better, you know? It's real sturdy, it's got a nice screw on it. It ain't coming to come loose or anything like that. It comes with adjustable foot pegs, which is really good, especially when you got a different style of sitting and and features and stuff like that. Up here, it's got these notches that you're supposed to be able to rest your paddle in between the notches if you just want to kind of put it out of the way. Now, it makes so much noise and it also kind of slid everywhere. So I ended up doing is taking some sea decking, cutting it and also sticking it basically right here in between these slots and it makes it smoother it doesn't slide around doesn't do a lot of that stuff either also here we got the deck pads pelican catch comes with the deck pads the nxt um, it also comes with a ruler on the inside so you can measure your fish i've used that plenty of times got the couple scupper plugs up here this is supposed to be a bottle holder but i'm not laying my my drink down in here or anything like that. You can use this kind of, but your bottom is gonna get all wet because of the scupper. Now, one thing I don't like about the scupper plugs is they are very small. So I can't use my stakeout pole or to go through there or anything like that, which kind of was a sad thing, but I mean, wasn't a big, big deal. 
but I overcame it. Getting to the side, we got the pad eyes on this, each side so you can go ahead and store gear. I have my fish grips that I use and I throw underneath here, leashed off. Uh, it's got the side handles. Again, like I said, this is the plastic 2017 model. 2018 and 2019 models are actually a lot more rigid handle. Um, the seat now, the seat is very comfortable. I actually do not have no issues with the seat. It is very, 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 very comfortable. I've had many hours and many hours in this seat and I've never gotten tired or anything like that as far as back hurting or anything like that. The seat does adjust. It comes in a high and low position. I normally keep it in the high position. And of course you can adjust the back straps, you know, to tighten it up and stuff like that. I keep it all the way back because I like to lounge. Uh, it doesn't come with a cup holder really necessarily on the boat. So therefore I did buy a bicycle mount bolt, uh, a bicycle mount cup holder. And what I did is I attached it to the actual bar of the seating. So I now got a little cup holder. Now the seat is adjusted by this. You go ahead and you strap down now. Go ahead and there, strap it down. So therefore, if you want to go ahead and start fast paddling or anything like that, you go ahead and strap it down. Now you got it in the low position. If you want to go ahead and raise it in the high position, you undo the straps, come up, drop it in the grooves, and go ahead and tighten yourself down as well. All right, that's the seat right there. Now here, I normally keep my, my GoPro stick. Here's normally where I keep my GoPro stick and it mounts it right there and it does pretty well. It gives me a nice overshot and stuff like that. Now the seat is fully adjustable. If you want to loosen this up to get a looser sitting and stuff like that, you can. It has a nice handle in the back. Now, this side of the seat, it has a bungee for a paddle, uh, for your paddle. The holder is actually pretty good for landing your fish rehooking, changing out lures, bait, putting on bait, stuff like that. I normally use that for that. Here we have a Scotty track and also another bungee, bungee strap down. Now this, I don't use much for this because I believe this would kind of get in the way when you paddle and stuff like that. So I don't know why they kind of put that. I also have the uh, Yak Attack anchor trolley system running on the left side of the boat. Getting to the back, we're gonna go ahead and show off my uh, my rod holders that I created because I really didn't like the molded in rod holders that come with the kayak. They're okay, I guess, but I, I just don't like the position that they sit in and stuff like that. I can't really get to them really fast because the way I have to turn or anything like that. Now I do have my kayak crate in here. Okay, and now this, you know, all my essential plastic uh, boxes, a bin with some soft plastics. I got bug spray because mosquitoes out here in Florida are ridiculous. But I made the uh, kayak crate out of just randomness. I was bored one day and stuck some pad eyes on all three sides and I use them as tie downs. I got this little stainless steel carabiner. It's getting a little rusted now. Uh, but here, of course, I got my PVC roll-up that I have three rod holders. This one I was going to make into a, into more of a GoPro holder, but I didn't really get around to it yet, so I just stick like my net or something in there. Also, in the back, you have a small circle hatch that is uh, really nice. I use a small dry bag in there, and I put like maybe my lunch and other things in there. So it's a nice little round eight inch hatch. It also got the drain plug in the back. Right on top, you pop it out, turn it upside down, lock it in place. And also got the back uh, handle as well. I don't really like the handles. I feel like they're very cheap. They bend as you can see, you know, me putting little flex on them. They do kind of bend a lot. Um, okay, so the kayak is very nice. I do like it. The couple things I don't like about it is the fact that there is no rudder kit available for it. So therefore, 
the kayak does kind of turn in certain ways that you like. Now it is very nice uh, as far as the paddle wise because when it's very calm it is just a nice easy paddle kayak. It's very stable. You can stand in it. The trekking in it is pretty well although you do have to correct yourself a little bit in the wind you're gonna have a tough time paddling because this kayak does get blown around all over in the wind uh, that was one thing i didn't like uh, the main things what actually lured me to this kayak was the fact that it was a standing platform kayak for 70 pounds and under a thousand dollars and at the length that it was 11 foot 8 i thought it was very good for the money for the price and it had a lot of great features that I was able to utilize and also come up with some new uh, features as well. And I was able to come up with some ideas to utilize some of the features that I had. I did do some extra upgrades. Of course, you saw the anchor trolley, seen the cup holder, the roto grips, the paddle keeper up there, the, the PVC rod holders and stuff like that. I mean, I've done some stuff with it. I've had some fun with this kayak. Um, it's a great kayak if you're looking for a, not a beginner, but if you're trying to go intermediate kayaking, you know, this is a pretty decent kayak to go and start with, especially if it's light, if you're topping it on top of a car. The only way I was able to put this was on top of my Honda Civic and believe me, it fit and I liked it. But uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, um, just anything about kayaking in general, if you want to ask me how I did the PVC rack or how I did my kayak crate, leave me a comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, also turn on notifications so that way you don't miss any new videos that I come out with. Again, for the 2017 Pelican Patch 120 NXT, thank you.